In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the FSC Star 200 for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today I thought I'd throw in a Euro Truck Simulator 2 mod. Now this is the FSC Star 200 by Equalizer. Now I thought uh, what a great little mod to show. Now in the past Equalizer has done plenty of good mods and I thought this one wouldn't be in any, uh, any, any difference. Anyway, you know what I mean. Alright, so um, I'm at the Scania Truck Dealer in Hanover. So there we go, that's a cool little place to be. So let's jump over to Customize Configuration and check it out. Now, first of all, this little truck here does come with its own trailer. So if you do want to have, uh, you know, sort of a, a rigid type truck here, you can do so. And then you have a trailer on the back there as well. So there's a few different models. You've got the 200, the 200C, which is for your semi, it's your little prime mover. And then there's the 244, which is a higher up one for, you know, off-road. And then we have the uh, sort of uh, little body truck type thing, sort of, uh, which you can have the trailer again. And then there's the other one here, which is a little a little bit different cab there, and it has, has the actual uh, 6x4 configuration there. So... Um, if you want to check these out, you need to go from the top to the bottom. Because if you go backwards, you're clicking all the time. So, um, so yeah, uh, with this one, I am just going to choose that configuration there. And if it does win the weekly drive, we'll be able to carry a trailer with there. Now, uh, another thing with the actual uh, rigid type body truck you can change the actual canopy, etc., etc., to do different things, look like different things. There was even one, I'll just quickly show you, may as well show you. Uh, there's even one there. Uh, no, not there. There it is there. There's even one there that you can have two engines in there as well. See, look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> two engines and transmissions in the back there, and you can drive along with those. You got that. There's... Um, that one there, that one, that one, and that one. And there is another one, if I can figure it out. There it is there, uh, and we go over to there. There it is there. There's that one there, which sort of looks like a military-type one that you can drive along with. But no, no, we're, today we're actually going to be having a look at, uh, yes, thank you, uh, this one here, this one. So it's just an idea of what you can do with this truck, so if you're interested. Now, um, the configuration here with the chassis is the 4x2C. The engine, uh, there's pretty much the Star engines or the Leyland engine. So I'm going to try the Leyland and we'll come back to the Star later on. So uh, hopefully there's two different sounds there because the Leyland, I would assume, sounds different. I know what Leyland sound like, but I never heard a Star before. Transmissions, we have the um, uh, five speeds and that's pretty much it. That's all you have. The FPS TCZEW, whatever it is, five speed. Different diff ratios. Uh, or is it? No, it's not. Oh, it is uh, ratios there. It is different diff ratios. There we go. So that's what the difference is. Uh, now over to the interior only one interior but if you have a look at this interior this reminds me of a very very old uh, truck you know from the uh, late 70s it reminds me which is probably what this is um, very interesting very interesting indeed but I do like how it's actually done there's no major jaggedy bits or anything like that bothering uh, you know bothering you there might be just that little bit there but you're not really looking at that all the time uh, over to the colors now now there is a template there which you'll have to extract to get the template out uh, other than that you've got your blues reds greens uh, oranges you know ivory there's ivory there and then there's custom color if you're not happy with any of the custom colors that it comes with there we go and you can also do custom metallic color 
in there as well. So there is the first one there, and there is the second. And let's have a look. There is the third one. There we go. Voila. Now, uh, I'm going to choose custom color here, and I'm going to put on there. That looks quite nice there. I like that. Now, over to the accessories. Uh, it comes with a few accessories. Not overly exciting accessories, but it does come with a few. Uh, different bumpers there, and that one's interesting. Uh, there's that there, and then there's a few more that you can actually choose. It's got hooks on it. And, yeah, uh, it all depends on what you're actually, what you like. I like that one there, and I'm going to chuck on uh, a couple of spotlights on there. And maybe, yeah, a couple more there as well. Why not? There you go. Now, uh, just up here, you can go and put on some ADR stickers or, you know, I'm not sure what that one is there. Can't really see it, but anyway. Uh, there's that as well that you can put on there. Uh, just up here, we have the driver's plate. There's the co-driver's plate. Then we have a little shelf that's inside there. We'll have a look at that later. Now, just up the top here is a sticker that you can put across the top there. Very nice. And uh, I'm actually going to put the equalizer garage on there. Beacon lights. You can put beacon lights on the top there. And then we have a light bar. So a couple of different choices of light bar. Uh, I'm actually going to use that one. And one thing you can do is you can put horns going out the front there. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. Uh, but you can go and put on uh, your spotlights as well. Um, actually, no. I'm going to change over to that one there. There we go. And uh, let's go and put on... Let's put horns there. We'll put on raw. Raw. There we go. And then right there, we'll put some spotlights. Even though the spotlights are so far back, they probably won't make any difference. Or not. There we go. And the last dot up the top there is beacon lights. If you want to add some, uh, just those kind of beacon lights rather than the... Oh, look at that. The, the horns are going through the... Oh, that's no good. It's no good at all. I don't like that. Put the horns there. The horns were going through the beacon lights. I don't like that. There you go, remove that. Right. So, yeah, you've got your beacon lights there. Or you've actually got these beacon lights here, which the horns go through. So, it's up to you which one you want. I'm just going to leave those ones on. Now, moving down, we have a couple of different kinds of mirrors that we can actually use. There's a painted ones or plastic. Then we have uh, a sticker on the side. Now, I thought this was actually quite good the uh, the sticker there's the uh, equal equalizer garage which I'll probably put that one on and there's a few other ones that you can put on there as well pretty cool I thought anyway and there's the equalizer garage now if you do it to one side make sure you do it to the other side as well otherwise it just looks a bit silly that's all uh, that was the main mirrors. Now, tires. Tires. It does come with its, uh, well, it just has standard tires you can use. Uh, but it does come with its own rims. So, they're the Star 200 there. And there's colored ones. So, painted ones you can do. So, if you want to have black, you can do so. Probably gray. Like a dark gray. There you go. And... Dark gray. Look, now, the best way to do this, I reckon, is to go back to there. And then we go over to here. Keep as preset. That way we can go over to here and go use preset. And use preset. And that way it stays the, the one color. Now, there's no covers for this at all. Uh, if you go and put on a cover on there, it just doesn't look right. So... Um, yeah, it's. I suppose it's not. That's not too bad. Might be able to get away with some of these ones. Scan your one. Maybe that. Uh, it's. That's okay. It sort of doesn't sort of match. 
But anyway, uh, I'll just leave them off for now. And uh, that, that'll that be pretty cool like that. We'll just leave it. Uh, then over here, it's smoke. You can have a whole heap of uh, smoke bellowing out the back there. Don't know where the exhaust is, but it's just bellowing out the back. It's like they've cut the exhaust short and just left it blow. Uh, then we have rear tires. There's standard rear tires and rims. Uh, you can choose any of the standard rims or any of these ones here. So but let's choose you choose that one and use preset. And then for the center hub there, we'll choose that one and use preset. There we go. That uh, center bit still looks a bit funny, doesn't it? But anyway, there's no covers to choose. How do the covers look on that? No, they don't don't look right at all, do they? Right, so there we go. That's the rims. Now up the back here is a couple of different options you can choose there. If you want to have a spare tire on there or spare tire on that side, you can. Now with other options, there is other options you can have like a little platform there in the other chassis that they have. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, another thing with the other chassis, you can change the tail lights a bit. So you can, uh, with the actual body trucks, you can actually uh, change the tail lights and that. But this one you can't. So that's all right. Doesn't matter. Now that is pretty much it. That looks like a nice little work truck. And uh, let's go to the inside and see what else we can modify. So from left to right here, we have the main mirrors can't change the steering wheel unfortunately uh, there's the driver's plate there's the co-driver's plate and this is that uh, little dash thing that I was telling you about that you can change we'll put the CB on a eh? channel 40 and then up there is the sticker that goes across there we'll leave it on the equalizer there because we love his work and that there is for the back part you can change that you can see the actual back part when you change it too so pretty cool now over there is the last one is the main mirrors and that is pretty much it so this is our truck let's confirm that and let's see how it drives do a trade-in thank you thank you very much okay loving it there we go and that's what she looks like on the outside i think that's great i like that There we go. There's a dude in there. Looks like a stun mullet. Always looks like a stun mullet, that bloke. And as we're just going down the side here, it is a bit dark for some reason, isn't it? I don't know why. Looks very dark. I don't, you may not be able to see that. That's how dark it is. Hopefully the sun comes out and shows us. All right, well, there we go. That's what it looks like on the outside. I think a nice little cool old-style trailer would look good on this. I really do. Uh, let's start her up. <laughs> I love that. Sounds like you're choking a turkey or something, but it's cool. Now, that was the Leyland, so that, that actually sounds like a Leyland. There we go. Very good. I like that. There's the um, the headlights there, and we have the high beams. Now, to get those other lights working, we need to go and put on uh, roof auxiliary and front auxiliary there. So, oh, It's going to be noisy, I can tell. Uh, try those high beams. There we go. They're all working now. Beacons. There's your disco lights are working. And uh, what else do we have? There's your light, your horn. There's your air horn. Uh, wipers. Oh, wiper animation's not working on the inside. Uh, not working on the outside. That's a bummer. That really is a bummer. The I noticed the flashes. Are, oh, hang on. I turned the flashes off. That's why. There we go. The flashes are working now. Brakes on and reverse lights. Not sure. Oh, there we go. There's the reverse lights there. I had it in the wrong gear. Well, there we go. Uh, looking good. Let's jump on the inside. Wipers working on the inside. Wow, that truck is noisy, isn't it? 
Now let's go over to here and we will go and save and load. There we go. Save. And then we go FSC. What was it? Star or something? Something like that. Whatever. I'll know what it is. Uh, and then we go save. Thank you. And let's push display. Cross your fingers it doesn't crash. Yay, it didn't crash. Okay, very good. Right, well, I'm going to go over and have a look at the... Is the, the brakes on, is it? I'm going to go over and have a look at the other engine. Turn that flashes off. Oh, I stalled it. Hear the squeaking. The squeaking as you shift gears. That's funny. That's your double clutching. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so... Um, going to just change the engine there and have a look. And let's hope it is confirmed. Let's hope that this has a different engine sound as well. That will make it really cool. Alright, starter up. No. It's the same engine sound. That's a bummer. But, you know, you can't win them all, can you? All right, well, let's go take this for a drive. Now, I did notice one thing that it was very touchy on the, uh, the through the gears. So you're going to have to split everything, I reckon. Don't know what happened there. I must have revved between gears by accident. Oh, jeez, we nearly hit that. <laughs> All right, we're going this way. Oh, wow, that, that rev really loud. And, I mean, it's, it's driving... It's just, it's got those massive big gear changes. That is crazy. What about uh, banana brake? No, no banana brake. That's fine. But it is very loud. Very, very, very loud. So, it... it oh, jeez, I'm just trying to get used to this truck. It uh, is a bit of a handful at first, just trying to figure it out. So it's the thing. The question is, guys, is this worthy of the weekly drive? I mean, it's a good little old school truck, and I love my old school trucks. Um, it is different to drive. I'll give it that. It's not. I don't know if I could drive this all day long. Uh, probably. I don't know, just something just, uh, you know, a little bit annoying about it. So it might, maybe others are, um, would be annoyed with it as well, I guess. I'm not sure. But look, guys, if you think this is worthy of the weekly drive, then punch that like button in the ass and make sure you have your vote because your vote counts, guys. It really does. Um, yeah, it would be very interesting if this won the weekly drive. There you go. There's the other horns. Uh, look guys, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cena Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cena Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button. But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on!